Um, hi. I it's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? <sighs> Isn't there a human crest she can join? children all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim? I asked Father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. or something nearby. I shouldn't say anything to you until you've spoken to Auburn. He's very... particular. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? 
I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Good. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while the Gondian's metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A rune powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. I knew you were the practical sort. That's why we get along. The foundry is in the lower city. Down by the docks. Beautiful building. Belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy. But when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. We escaped that bloody steel watcher. No thanks to you. We did, but we very nearly didn't. Everything's lining up for the Iron Hands, though. Walbrun's about to put his grand plan into action. I don't know. I thought he would have calmed down after we got him away from that place, but. There's something else here disturbing him. You are? Excellent. With someone like you on board, they can't fail. Quiet. Everyone. Quiet.
Caress also has. We are not staying in a brothel. Ah, yeah, yeah. You haven't even got inside. Got, yeah. <gasps> like I, what? I, not I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. It's just embarrassing to need something like this. Whatever. Let the man breathe. Sterling, it's very leather-like. Did you see our father watching through me? Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. Ordination is what? Lord Gortash is becoming Archduke. All the peers came to pay regards. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. The Kithrax Red Dragon. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry. But your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate. My city. Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. You. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. I'm telling you. Ah, they're harmless. Except if you're a criminal, of course. It's more than that. The way they look at you. Judging you. I don't like it. You're not being paid to like it. If I were you, I'd focus on my own job and leave the steel watchers to theirs. isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun.
Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. You know, us. We've kind of hated this place. Lord is Such a do about a damned bridge. Please make your way to the it's audience just a chamber. Bridge. Is it really worth all that ire? Come on. Isn't there something you hate for no good reason? Mm. I dislike owls. They're hypermobile necks are quite disconcerting. You know what, Lay? I couldn't agree more. Please make your way to the audience chamber. people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengar, thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. The tiefling is letting her passions get the better of her. The situation is delicate. Do not be swept up in her emotions. So we bide our time, but make no mistake, that monkey is mine. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak, come and say a proper hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colorful turns of phrase. We must catch up, just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... Together... We can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. She might be anywhere. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. 
If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A doppelganger in our camp. That sounds all too believable. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is, where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thorpe. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. 
the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. So there you have it, Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? <clears throat> Not if I get to him first. How could all these people cheer for him like that? Can't they see what a chancer he is? <laughs> and they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate.
truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Have you come to behold the new dawn? Help me. Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. Punished? Gods. Don't want to imagine what that entails. Maybe there's still time to find her. Within Ravenguard's memories, you find Counselor Floric. She is confined in a cell right here in Worm's Rock. The sun rises, true soul. Are you ready? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. Dearest Karlak, I'd busy myself finding Orin if I were you. I'll still be here for any unfinished business, once you've secured your camp. That's it? That's all you have to say to me? Were you hoping for something else? A word of wisdom? A hug? Thanks to you, I don't hope for things anymore. I just take whatever it is I want. See you soon, motherfucker. You most certainly will. And tell me what you were doing in the house. Well, you I don't know, dear. Broke down the door. I don't know. All we can do is be patient. Did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. And to think the drama's just started. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. To his death, the way I hear it. Such a shame. And to think, 
There's no way to save him. Or is there? I know enough. Let's talk to Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. By order of Lord Gordon, all livestock admitted to the city must be surrendered. All livestock is now property of the Ducal Council for the duration of the ongoing emergency. Failure to comply will result in imprisonment and, if necessary, more severe punishment. <laughs> You're having a chuffy laugh! We lost most of our herd to wolves on the way here. We've got almost nothing left, and you want to take that from us? I've had enough of this. I've got a good mind to... Problem, citizen. But forget I said anything. All right. Stop before entering Baldur's Gate proper. Smuggling or any other form of deceit will not be tolerated. Uh, what are you gonna do? Check under my skirt for any stray chickens? All animals must be surrendered. Failure to do so will result in a good hiding from Lord Gortash. Got it. Thank you. This is out and out madness! Tom, help us. What do we do? Just be ready to leave when the time comes, mm -hmm. or preferably you before. Can, you can do that. Come on, child. I know your character, but if you want to bring her back, you wouldn't mind doing a little shopping in the city. Um, Only Lord God I think I may have overdone it with the black and purple for oh, my entire life. Speaks well, that end. Serves you well, then.
Take a bit of hard work. First one to give up before he got paid. Goose pimples. Goose pimples are right. Bits of the book huh. were downright not. There's something going on here. Morgan. I don't like it. Careful. I smell an ambush. Are you sure it's not the flowers you're smelling? You may be allergic. But better safe than sorry, I suppose. Whoa, whoa, mate. This is the last place you need to be. Clear off, yeah? <laughs> Two words. Guild business. Only an idiot gets between them and their shipments. Why didn't you lead with that? I trust you're gonna balance the books, too, yeah? Oh, yeah. Weapons, drugs, bit of fire wine. You know, the usuals. Uh, I ain't got all day, mate. Quite enough explaining, Volotham Gadan. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories we have seen beyond the veil, we see what you really are, Fearmonger. Hear, hear! Attention seeker! Hear, hear! Agent of chaos! Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Rack the hells, follow! 
Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer, for today, we rise in truth. Psst. Don't you stand there. Help me, goddammit! Help me! I suppose we should aid him. Though I'd hate to miss the show. What's this? Another heretic in our midst? Another mind clouded by the disruptor's lies? Another soul to cleanse? Well, we are nothing if not gracious. Let us see if we cannot lift the veil from their eyes too. a break. Cutting to the chase. My path be true. Thank you. 